Hi guys and ladies, I found what looks like a great new recipe for low carb fish tacos with avocado cream. It sounds great and I've got all the ingredients. Ah, ah, ah. Except one, you know what I mean. I have to pick up the fish and it's five o'clock already. It just stopped raining. It's been raining all day. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. cold out here. It's 42 degrees. Maybe you remember my last episode where I caught so many small bass. The biologist who studied this lake told me to remove the small ones or the rest will never get big. You see, there are just too many mouths to feed. So let's target the little bass just between you and me and anything else that bites. Here's what I'm going to start off with, this two and a half inch action plastic lure. Yeah, Crop it. Ah, I did say we were going for crappie, didn't I? It's not a bad crappie. This is the area where those small bass hang out. This is perfect. Good, good fillets. Two little fillets. Got to remove this size from the lake. Finally, a better bass. 11 and a quarter inches, I'm allowed to keep him. See, over 12, we have to return them. Oh, perfect. Lots of people have asked me, what is that triangular thing in your lake? Well, you see what it is? It's a drain pipe. And those bars are to keep debris from clogging the, the drain. And the water only goes over when it's very high. Yeah. Little guy. <laughs> Pathetically small. I need the meat. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Two more taco fillets. Yeah, as soon as it hit. I'm embarrassed, but but I, I've got to remove these from the lake. I'll take it. Yep, there's a good one. Whoa! Well, it's not a huge fish, but it's much better. <laughs> Another 11 inch bass. That's the perfect size. We need to remove him, and he provides great meat for the table. <laughs> okay, getting rid of small ones. into the boat where he belongs. Wow, another perfect eater. Oh, 
I've got plenty of bass and even a crappie in here for our tacos. That's plenty of food. And we did our lake a lot of good by getting rid of the little bass. It's absolutely freezing. It's 39 degrees, it's drizzling, and it's getting dark. Let's get in the house and I'll fillet these guys. <laughs> What a tiny bass day I had yesterday, but I think I helped the fish population by taking the little ones out. And look, just the bass alone gave us a pound and a third of fillets. Well, I'm only using a pound for this recipe, but right now, let's get to making a spice blend for our fish tacos. Okay, I've got my handy shaker here. And so what I'm going to do is put in two tablespoons of really high quality chili powder. Now mine does not have salt in it, it's Gephardt's. Here is my favorite spice of all. That's a teaspoon of cumin. And now a teaspoon of garlic powder. And here goes a teaspoon of smoked paprika. The recipe doesn't say smoked, but I like it. And here goes a half teaspoon each of salt and pepper. I would probably not use salt if your chili powder already has it. That's all we need for seasoning. Okay, here's what we're doing. I'm going to process this avocado. Oh dear. Mm. Here's about a half cup of yogurt. Here's one fourth teaspoon of cumin, cumino, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Let's try processing this. You know, I use full fat yogurt. I'm on a low carb diet, not a low fat diet. Now, you know what I'm doing? I'm going to add some sour cream. It's not even in the recipe couple tablespoons of sour cream. Oh, that looks good. I'm going to try a little of our avocado cream sauce. Very rich and creamy. And I really taste the avocado. And what I think I'm getting a note of is citrus. I don't know why. But maybe it's the sour cream. It's, it's just a great, wonderful, velvety sauce. Mm. I think the most difficult thing about this whole recipe is cleaning the food processor. This is just a little aside that I have to share with you. I was going through the cupboards here at the lodge at Lake Ketchabiguan and I had cheddar cheese soup. And I said, what the heck is this for? I looked at the expiration date. 15 years. Well, what's 15 years? Maybe I better throw it away. Let's turn our oven to 375. Now I'm just going to season up our fish fillets with our taco seasoning. I don't know yet uh, exactly how much I'm going to use. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm going to do both sides. This recipe is for tilapia and it says to put it in the oven for 10 minutes, but these little bass are so small, I'm only going to put them in for eight minutes. Let's see how that works out. While our fish fillets are roasting away in the oven, I might as well let you all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks, is about to arrive here for dinner tonight. Uh, you, you know that we've been seeing each other for over 50 years yet, she doesn't seem to want to get married, and I'm beginning to think it's my personality. Sometimes I do and I say the, the stupidest things, and I'm wondering if she just thinks I'm a jerk. Here I've got six big low-carb tortillas. All I'm going to do is warm these up in the microwave. Okay, it's been eight minutes. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, they look really good. <laughs> They smell great. Let's start assembling our tacos. Here's what I'm doing. Putting in a couple pieces of our fish, a little bit of repollo. That's all just shredded cabbage. 
Here's our avocado cream sauce. Generous helping of that. Last, this is not even in the recipe. This is a blend of Italian cheeses. You could use queso fresco or manchego or some kind of Mexican cheese. And that's it. There's our tacos. Before my special guests arrive, let me have a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's not too much spice. It's really, really good. Creamy. Cheesy. Fishy. <laughs> so good, though. You're going to love this. And it's easy. Do it with tilapia or whatever fish you like. Well, here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for honoring me at my uh, disheveled uh, double wide. And um, you uh, had a chance to uh, sample my uh, uh, fish tacos mm -hmm. with uh, avocado cream sauce and cabbage and cheese. And what, what did you think? Very delicious. Really? They were very nicely prepared. Thank you. Yes, I enjoyed thank every you. taste of it. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. It was kind of creamy. and Yes, I did... and the sauce was very good. Yeah, I noticed yeah. the uh, yeah. avocado. Yes. Miss Cheeks? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, it's okay to call you Lulu yes, now? Yes, yes, oh, sure. Great. Yeah. You know, I, I worry that there's something about me that's hindering our relationship. Well, I need to be frank. Do you think I'm a jerk? I don't think you're a jerk. But then what's my opinion against thousands of others? Huh? Uh, oh, can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>